Ride Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. That's right, you tell him, little buddy. You tell him, you listen to Late Night, everybody. Late Night Radio with Jerry was live worldwide and the beautiful thing again. And I'm coming out of St. Louis. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. We got a great show. That's right, that cut you. You heard early, it's called Tour of Duty. That's right, that's written by my man, Brother Allen here. Born and raised in Chicago, now living in Georgia. Right, we got to find out what's going on in this world. But meanwhile, let's talk to Kimmy Kim real quick before we bring our guest out, because Kimmy going to interview him. But I want to see how Kimmy doing. But this is my first time talking to her in 2023. What's up, Kimmy Kim? How you doing? How you doing, Jerry? I'm good. Happy New Year to you. Same to you. Yeah. What, what's been going on? Busy as usual trying to meet those television deadlines. <laughs> I'm in here filming um, the puppet <laughs> shows. They do they do tonight at midnight. Almost done. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta, got it. That's right. Got to keep the you. kids. Yeah, got to keep the little kids happy. Yeah, you get, you get disappointed when they, when they start running reruns. <laughs> you know how little kids are. Oh, yeah. 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 We've seen that before. <laughs> Yeah. They are bright. They uh, know. Mommy, I saw that. And then they come on like every day. So, you know, you got you to gotta give them something fresh, you know, some new music. Right. Yeah, yeah. So how's everybody? How's the girls? The girls are doing good. Um, just trying to prepare uh, for this college run. And, yeah. and Hannah's graduating from middle school. So it's like funny. Yeah, you got good, yeah. so you got a good little gap between um, them going to college and one finishing and one just entering, right? Yeah, after Candace graduates, then Hannah comes to college. Yeah, I had, a, I had a nice little 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 gap there with the oldest one. He finished, I think, in two thousand seven. Then um, Scala didn't start till uh, what twenty nineteen twenty. Well, she just graduated twenty twenty one. So. My bad. Twenty two. I'm okay, getting my my numbers messed up. Twenty two. She graduated in twenty twenty two, the spring. And Jordan comes out in twenty four. Yeah. He, oh wow. Yeah, he'd be a senior in um next fall. Yeah. It's just going by so fast. The time is I, I just know. I'm like, wow. I know we've I'm been like, I know. We've been home the whole time for his college. You know, we've been in the pandemic since he started college because it started when he was in his senior year in high school. True. Yeah. So and he so was, he stays in home. He he does classes from home. No, they they you know the state schools they they have no problem with COVID. <laughs> okay, okay. They okay. figured it out. Well, they they do have some hybrid classes, and then they have a few. Um, I know in the beginning they had like half the kids like they had a, like an A and a B day. So like, I think it was no more than fifteen kids in the classroom. And it was like you know, separated masks and stuff like that. But now, um, I think if you're sick, you just don't come. <laughs> I don't Basically. Yeah, I, I think, know. I believe that's how, like, high schools are doing, too. So it must be carrying on to the college level as well. If you're sick, yeah. don't come to classes. But that, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it does. And I think the college kids may be, you know, a little bit more, um, well, I guess their immune system might be better because, Right now, our hospitals are packed. The pediatric hospitals are loaded, man. I'm hearing people like have to transport their kids to wherever openings they can find somewhere else, and it's kind of bad, bad here in Maryland, and, and of course in New York. Really? Yeah, it's pretty bad here. Yep. See, we got a lot of. Uh, see, we got you know people are very sociable in the cities. You know, they don't they don't stay home for nothing. Plus, you know. Big gatherings over the holiday, you know, it, it got bad since um yeah. since Thanksgiving, and I know like China's having it pretty bad. I think they lost like 
sixty thousand people since December or something like that. Yeah, and that's like death. <laughs> they, that's not in room. It's in the hospital. <laughs> so it's um still alive and well. Yeah, we gotta stay careful. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, stay it's alert. Funny. You know, it's funny because even um. Like we go to the bowling alley, and we used to go to bowl. I know I used to go bowling with my friends all the time, and bowling alley used to be packed. You had to wait, and now we walk right in, and um, lanes are available. And my daughter went the other night, and she said it was easy for them to get a lane. Yeah, so a lot of people are staying home because now you can rent movies, like mm-hmm. the new releases through yeah. Amazon or other yeah. places. That's right, and TVs prices are low. You know. Uh, you know, you can get yourself a nice 50, 55, 65, 85 inch TV, probably for less than 1200 Remember before yeah, the days were like $10,000? Yeah, I remember they used to be $10,000. <laughs> and now it's like, hey, build your own movie theater, right? Yeah, exactly. That's right. And you don't have to worry about the crowd talking to me, you know, because I remember I don't, I did like a couple of times doing like, going to the movies when the movie first comes out Mm -hmm. and I realized I'm not enjoying it because you have people with babies and they're talking. You don't hear the movie. I'll wait until like the third week. Yeah, Somebody getting up all the time, but you know, um, we usually get tickets at the the theater. They just renovated the whole, all the 17 theater. I think it's just one theater that has the regular seats. And I was very uncomfortable with my feet sitting on the floor. It was like, I could stay home for this and watch TV in the kitchen. But um, majority of their theaters have their recliners, the big recliners on them. So uh, you you sitting back, you know, chilling, eating your popcorn. So, you know, I think they're trying to give us the experience. And I think one of them has like a real big sound system in there. I think we went there to see Jurassic Park or something like that. And my son went there to see Avatar. He said it was a really good experience. I think they have to give you the experience now, you know, give you some really good food. They got bars in there now. So you can, you know, a lot of people show up with, um, you know, with a party of five or more, you know, night out with their friends. So you just got to step it up. Yeah, you got to step it up. Yeah, Yeah, step it up. Absolutely. That's right. Different times. Different times. Check out our seniors too, y'all. So be careful, be courteous now. Not everybody can handle it. A bad flu because that's that's floating around too. So anyway, I know you're well, ready to talk to. I'm yeah. sorry, you got one more thing to say because it was my time. Yeah, I was up. saying yeah, the flu season is being ignored. Absolutely. Yeah, and, this, and the numbers are up for that. Because matter of fact, my my neighbor, uh, my good friend, he just uh, hit me up the other day and he was saying is you know majority of his patients are COVID patients. He you only have people there for broken broken legs or nothing, <laughs> broken arms, <laughs> you know, sports injuries. Mm. Yeah, he said, yeah, that was his rounds, you know. So that's a shame, you know. We're still in this situation since pretty much 2019, really, because that's when it really hit mainland. So it's been it's been three years, right? Am I math, am I math right? Yeah. All right. Well, Kimmy Kim. Are you ready to talk to Brother Al? I know he's ready to talk to you. Uh, he's sitting yes, in the I queue. And he has brand new music, so everybody sit around. If you didn't catch us early, we did uh, play his new single, Tour, Tour of Duty, and uh, we will play that uh, either midway or at the end of the program, so stay tuned and um, and just Google him. Brother Al is everywhere. He is everywhere. All right, well, let's open him up. All right, what's up, Brother <laughs> Al? Welcome to Late Night with Jerry Rose Live Worldwide and Kimmy Kim. How you doing, brother? Hey, Jerry Wilson, Kimmy. I appreciate this. Brother Alice, your service. Oh, God. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us, man. And we are we're excited to hear what you've been up to. We know it's been a minute since you've been on the program. I know you've had a chance, to, I think, to talk to Kimmy. And I think you talked to uh, Pastor Red and I, th- I think uh, Sister uh, Crystal. And now you get a chance to talk to Kimmy Kim. Welcome, welcome. All right. All right. Well, welcome, yeah, man. welcome. I'm busy. Uh, the music has, has changed since the last time I was on your program. Um, I'm in a different place, so the music sounds different according to the season, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I thank God for that. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You know, we still we still rocking your music video, man. On um, uh, on um, 
the music video shows up. Uh, it's always a favorite pick of our team, man. So we always got to rock that as a bonus video or throw it in the countdown. So we appreciate yeah, you uh, um, being part I, of that. I, I, I tuned in to your YouTube channel. Everybody go subscribe to, to the to the to Jerry Royce YouTube channel because I, I still see what you be doing, man. And I, I appreciate you did the continued support of uh, God of Seal. Uh, that record is legendary and it's timeless. Yeah. Um, just due to the instrumentation in it, it's kind of really, you know, you can't tell that I made it, you know, three years ago. You can't, years you can't. Ago, you know? Shelf life, man. Yeah. God, yeah, Christian, I, think, I always believe that Christian hip hop and gospel music has a, a longer shelf life. For one, not everybody is going to hear it at one time, for one, because because you guys, you know, work very um, intricate with, the, you know, the way you move your music through state to state, you know, according to the way you tour. And, of course, you guys are not going to go on no super world tour like some of our mainstream artists. So it's probably going to be like two, three, four years before someone else have an opportunity to hear it. And to them, it's new, you know, and it's still fresh. So, uh, you know, keep moving with it, man. Keep doing your thing. And, and we're going to keep rocking it on our cable network. So um, and, and they're enjoying it because it's always being requested. So have a good one. And I'll be right here listening to you guys. Amen. Okay. Well, thank you once again, Jerry, for this opportunity. And how you doing, my brother? I'm excited. I can't complain. I uh, thank God for uh, an opportunity to be back on the show and tell the world what else I'm doing. So that works, you know. Absolutely. So before we, we begin, can you tell the listener who are you? Tell us what you've been doing and uh, more of the um, projects that you're working on. And, yeah. Okay, so I mean, as as a short synopsis, um, I'm Brother Al. Everybody know me as Brother Al, and I, my my tagline is "At your service," right? So usually people okay. say that kind of together, even though they don't belong together. <laughs> but I I I tag my own music in that way, so it's kind of a thing, you know. Um, in addition to that, I uh, I'm a teacher. Uh, oh, I, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I am a teacher. So I just finished teaching Revelations, the entire book. Uh, I know uh, some, uh, 90% of the churches are allergic to it. So I went ahead and made it as dramatic as possible and, and finished that series and uh, gave you Revelations according to Brother Al, you know. Um, so you can't say what time, you didn't know what time we were in, you know, because um, my job is to keep you up to date okay mm-hmm. yeah. so other than that like with the music it's always changing and um i'm trying to make a a, a statement out here and god has given people a palette for what i do hey, amen so how long have you been doing music um i've been i've been recording uh for the lord uh, let's say since 2015. Okay. Um, and, but I've only really went public, public. Like, I probably released well over a thousand songs before I went public. One Just thousand my songs? Brand. Over a thousand songs before I went public. Wow. Just now. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, wow. All right. So, um, by the time I went public, I signed the CMG Squad 2911 in 2020 right at the beginning of the pandemic. I think it was February. And then um, that's when really my introduction to mainstream on all major platforms really kicked off through uh, through that label. And um, I appreciate all the help that God has sent me, you know, mm. um, along the way. You know, I couldn't do half the things I did without the help God allowed people to see me and see my vision and, and get behind me and help me. So shout out to uh, Minister Casey, shout out to CMG Squad 2911, shout out to Matt Teresa and, and DJ Quality Hannah. I've there's so many people that have put their hands to what I do. Um, and God has given, like I said, if you don't have a palette for what I do uh, in music, because my sound doesn't sound like anybody else in Christian hip-hop. That's right? beautiful. That's, that's unique. You want to be unique because... Like God has given you your own voice and vice versa. So that's beautiful. That's a good thing. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So who are some of your, um, like, 
what kind of songs do you talk about? Are they mainly like what you've gone through or do you sometimes um, write songs on biblical principles or is it both? Uh, I would call myself a spiritually intellectual rapper. Okay. You understand? So I do. with that, I'm not a John 316 for God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son kind of rapper. There's nothing okay. wrong with those brothers who do that. But right. I can craft the scriptures into real life and make it applicable and provide correction, motivation, um, and, 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 um, and encouragement all at the same time, right? Something gospel music can't do. Gospel music does not provide correction, right? It's usually highly inspirational and motivational, but it doesn't, it lacks the correctional piece right? Unless you dig back into the older songs and, and you know, they were talking about what we shouldn't be doing, right? right? But today's gospel music does not include that element. Uh, so gospel hip-hop does. It's one of the last um, genres that haven't been affected in such a way that it's been um, PC'd out. It's, it's real. Gospel hip-hop still has its edge in most corners. I agree. And there is still, you know, more room for improvement because we must adapt to the youth because they have very low attention span. So if your sound doesn't sound good, they just will drop. It's not like us back in the days. We, we love, you know, the same old, same old, but they like different things, this new era, this these new generations. So that's good to know that you do that. And so do you sometimes allow your teaching, because um, um, you say you're a teacher, mm -hmm. and um, when you teach, do you allow your teaching also to really come into play with your music? Do you or mm -hmm. do you I, separate? No, 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 absolutely. I have my ministry and my music has merged. So before okay. each teaching, I play a little bit of my songs, right? And I actually play my music throughout my teachings. And like, um, for example, like even with this, even with this Revelation series, I got music to match that. There's not, I got. If you go to my Instagram, it's brother Al, brother underscore Al nine. And right okay. now, I'm the thing where I'm matching, I'm matching scriptures to my music because people maybe haven't studied or showed themselves approved enough to know what I'm actually saying is biblical because it's done at such a high level. Does that make sense? So when you do something at, at a higher level, then it could be missed because um, it's at a higher level. It's not the ABCs of salvation. Does that make sense? Right, right. Um, so <laughs> I'm now attaching scriptures to, to my music uh, and with a short video um, so people can oh. see the contextual. Interesting. So who is your demographic? Who? Who are you trying? Who is your main marketing? Because I already believe everyone can probably target, but who do you? And, and anybody who think? enjoys, uh, anybody who enjoys hip hop who want to stay safe. Okay. Because I believe okay. listening to my music, you can stay safe, right? Because the things that I put in it that God has blessed me uh, to go through or to experience and or that I'm not even going through that that just may just be in the music. Um, should be enough that it should stick with you when you close your car door, right? Um, therefore, reminding you to tell the truth and stay safe at all times, right? So, Amen. Um, yeah. It sounds like to me you know exactly where you're going because one thing I love about music, it um, it opens up the room for, like, teaching, like, conversations, and mm -hmm. you bring people together. That's what music for me does. Because when I, back in 1998, I came back on a song and then I got busy for the Lord. So music mm -hmm. is important because one thing I have learned about the Bible, Psalms is the biggest book in the, in the Bible and it's in, and it's in the middle section of the Bible. So God knew that music was or is important to us. So that's good to know. And, uh, when it comes to your music, do you develop your own tracks or do you outsource that um, as well? <laughs> yeah, no, even uh, this, this record that, that you guys played, uh, it's an actual EP. It's five Ooh. songs deep. 
Um, it's called uh, Behind Enemy Lines. And shout out to Tommy uh, out in California. He found me on TikTok or Instagram and um, wanted to work with me. So then uh, we we put that to, uh, he sent me the records and I, I, then this project was created. Now, I primarily work with a producer, a beat maker out of Germany. His name's Stregi. Y'all go shop with him. It's S T R E A G G E. Um, he, I met him on the internet years ago, and he wow. actually exclusively produced "Reset the Church," um, the entire album. So I've been rocking with one person, and then I make music. I make beats myself as well. So um, okay. between the three of us, and then like one other producer that I really rock with. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. I don't really do a lot of features um, because uh, within my community, I have found that if I send somebody a record and they don't have anything for it, they don't have enough humility to say, hey, brother, Al, I don't have anything for it. They will sit on my record and won't say nothing to me. And then they'll comment in my, on Facebook <laughs> as if they don't, they're not sitting on a record I gave them. It's great. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, like brother, do you know you got a, a record of mine? You gonna send it back or or not? You know, so are you I, serious? I, wow! Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So it's it's and then I've I've seen it. You know, I've given gospel singers, hey, here's this here's this record. Let's see what you can do with it. Let's you know, let's work and they'll sit on it and they won't say, hey, I don't have anything for it. Somebody give me a record. Uh, I will tell you. You know what? I That's got nothing for it. And then right. there's no robbery, right? I don't know. Maybe mm. giving me the treatment sometimes. So I end up on records by myself, and, and, and bless the Lord, I am the lone wolf of gospel. <laughs> okay. And I guess apparently God knew exactly what he needed for you to do because some people see the challenge and they don't want to help you. You do have, you still have some haters out there, even in the gospel right. world. They don't want to see you succeed because they're afraid of your success. But that's crazy yeah. because God is big enough to bless you and other people. It's it's okay. You just can't say Brother Al didn't reach out to me, right? Absolutely, yeah. You can't say I didn't reach out. You can't. There's so many people that I've reached out to, so I want to make it to. So when I say, hey, you know, and gospel industry and gospel ministry are two different things, right? Um, but I made sure I reached out so people can't say. He's unreachable, right? I don't want to be that person. And even still then, um, you know, sometimes people only want to jump on the wagon when it's smoking already, right? Oh, and But then at the same time, what I do and the music I select uh, may be a challenge, right? Because mm. it's, it's not traditional, right? The, 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 the instrumentation I use and, and this this ear for music, you know, doesn't sound like everything else. So it's you know, it could be without a, with, um, with out of people's scope. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm already leaving the country to go get half the music anyway, right? Oh wow, yeah, yeah. I got and, like I got a the song Jerry Royce, uh, of uh, that music video he's talking about. I got that beat from Russia. <laughs> so like you're not Russia, you know? People, yeah, like. I, I don't want what everybody is doing. Like, I don't have any influences. Do you understand? I don't have any gospel music influences. There are people I may listen to, you know, um, but nobody has an influence on me because I took an entire year off. So if you're an artist and you find yourself sounding like other people and you want to know what sound God has exactly. for you, mm-hmm. I challenge you to turn everybody off and only listen to yourself. And when you listen to yourself only for one year, you will develop within yourself what God put in you. And That's you don't beautiful. have to worry about being with everybody else. That is so beautiful. That is true because you do tend to um, hear music similar to other artists and it's a copycat. Mm-hmm. And I love, I love someone to be original, you know, don't be like the norm. I tell my girls, yeah. don't be like the crowd, be you. You are the best you. Be your best you. Yeah, that's right. But here's the thing. When the wave changes and the direction changes and you're stuck, you're a terrible copy of the next wave. Yes. 
Absolutely. And uh, so tell us, uh, my brother, about this new project in 23 that you're working on, because I know we will be playing um, a song um, Mm -hmm. at 1030 Eastern Mm -hmm. Standard Time, 930 Central. So tell us what's going on with your new project. I would love to know more about it, because I love hip-hop. I love (laughs) hip-hop. Okay, well, Behind Enemy Lines um, is, is a special kind of record. It it basically catalogs what a saint goes through and, uh, as if it's physical war. So I cross the spiritual and the physical war elements throughout all five songs. That's why one song is named Intel Unit, right? That's the intelligence unit of being saved in the war against what we deal with, right? Mm-hmm. Um, one song... It's called Behind Enemy Lines. It's literally titled after the the title of the album. And then one song is called Tour of Duty. That's the song we already played, right? And then one song, I mean, I just kept it um, consistent throughout the entire thing. So maybe when I show up to for places, everybody show up in camo and, and we have a real experience because we are truly soldiers fighting on the battlefield for our, for our souls. And there's a real war going on. And at the end of the day here, um, what got your grandma through ain't going to get you through because she wasn't here for this dispensation you are. So this is the soundtrack to this dispensation. Why? Because I'm in the same war with you. So I'm the drummer boy. That makes sense? It does. You bring it. Yeah. You bring it to sound. You bring in what's... Um what's to come. You're utilizing the biblical uh, scriptures to uh, make your music. And that's very intelligent because, you know, music is a good way to memorize things. And there are music I have learned back in 1980. And as soon as it comes on the radio, I remember the wordings. So that's good to know that you're not only bringing your music um into a different style based on the original being you, um, you are also utilizing scripture so that it can, you know, penetrate people's spirits and souls so they they can say, wow, I need to change my way. And this work has brought me to the Lord. And see, that is so beautiful when your music can touch someone to change the way that they live. That's awesome. So I'll give you, you know, applause for that because, it's very few artists that that really wants to really um, help those who want to stay safe or who wants a relationship with the Lord. So I thank you for that as well. You're awesome. So what do you do about, when you're not making music? Uh, what does that mean? You what, what does that even mean? I'm always. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't know what that means, girl. Please. That's I, got, I, got, I, got, I have about a hundred and maybe hundred and eight songs been released since twenty twenty. I've been busy. Wow. You've been yeah. busy. No, the How Bible you... singing for the Lord new song. That's so true, that's true, that's that. true. Right now, praise Brother Al has right now, and I don't have to go by industry standards because you already got the attention span of a spoon. So why would I pump this record to you and shove it down your throat like I'm the radio when you're in a different season and you really need what I have now? Mm, That's smart. That's very smart. That's true. Because, like you said, people's attention span is, what, up to five seconds, and either they're going to continue on paying attention to it or not. And, uh, Wow. So music is your life. So I know you're you're doing your passion, you're loving it, you're having fun, and it doesn't feel like work to you. So it must be your passion and what God has called you to do out and you do teach as well. And so what are some of your favorite uh books in the Bible? You mentioned um, Revelation. Uh yeah, yeah, no. I'm I am a book of Obadiah fan. I am an Isaiah chapter 11 fan because I believe we're going to be a part of the next Exodus. Uh, um, church don't teach that, right? A lot of the church, you know, they do all that prophecy talk to stay away from prophetic books because they don't understand the timeline and they treat everything like it's already happened. And that's a lie. 
Well, um, we're not gonna go there with that. So <laughs> you right on so, that. We we do we do a lot of yeah. we do a lot of hollering, hollering, but we don't know what we're hollering about. You have to read the words for yourself and allow and you don't God to. The, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't have yeah. no reference to timeline, and most of them don't know history, so they don't know. You know, you can check the Bible against history. You know, um, mm-hmm. so. I would say the those the book of Obadiah is great. Um, I do like the book of Amos, and um, mm-hmm. Revelations is also one of my favorite books um, because it's it's as scary as it is encouraging. Um, and I'm a Proverbs and Ecclesiastes guy, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I love Ecclesiastes, and I love. I love Solomon, his um, his writings, the Proverbs. I love the fact that he realized what he, you know, done. Then he wanted mm-hmm. to change his life around after having so many, so many relations. But you know what I love about the word? It, it shows us that God uses imperfected people for his perfect will. So I just love the word. keeps me honest and things like that. And it sounds like it does the same for you. And um, I just want to thank you so much. So what kind of legacy would you like to leave behind when um, God gives you your wings and he calls you home? Um, I would like for my uh, son to be third, uh, I'm, I'm our second, third generation saved man. Mm, right? Grandfather beautiful. was saved. My father is saved. Um, I'm saved. My son will be, uh, sorry, fourth generation saved, saved, saved man. And, and, and if my children are saved and then my great grandchildren can, with the stuff that I talk about, if it pops out on their timeline, they have me to listen to. Mm, That's beautiful. I love that. I've left the encouragement and the instruction, which I thought was for my time, but it was for theirs. And, that's the legacy of itself. It is beautiful. Legacy of being saved. That's the best legacy. And how can people reach out to you? Because we're about to play your music in, in a few more minutes, and I cannot wait to get this hip-hop going because I love hip-hop music. So okay. how can people reach out to you? Yeah, yeah, I'm not hard to find. Uh, you can reach out to me on Instagram. It's brother underscore Al, number nine. Um, and... Uh, I am on TikTok as well, so you can reach out to me there. I'm you on TikTok, TikTok too? Okay. Okay. I okay. am. Yeah. So uh, you can also reach out to me through my YouTube channel. It's uh, Brother Al on YouTube. Or you can just Google me and figure it out, right? So. No, we're trying to find that, that music. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you're on Instagram too. What is that name? Uh, it's a Brother underscore Al 9 on okay. IG. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. And um, my music's available, Brother Al, on on, on Spotify, Apple, Pandora. Uh, uh, there's any any international, most international uh, music's um, you can find me. So it's it's really not that hard. Now, if you also you want to help Brother Al, you can make TikToks and Instagram stories and things of that nature out of my music. You can use my sound on all of those platforms because it's awesome. already there for you. All right, audience, let's support my brother. I mean, wow, one year off to figure out. I mean, you know who you are, you are, but you want to do your own voicing, listen to the Lord. Sometimes you do have to take time off to rediscover what God has done in your life as relates to your passion and your purpose because sometimes we can get off track. That's beautiful. And you coming back with thousands of songs and now you got this wonderful project. So I thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to talk with you. I'm looking forward to get crunk now. So I love good music and authentic music. And so, Jerry, do you have anything you would like to add before we begin the song? Well, Brother Al, we just want to, yeah, we just want to say, Brother Al, again, thank you so much for blessing our station, man, with your presence, man. You're doing some powerful things out there, man. And we're just so glad to hear um, that you're a teacher out there, too, as well, and serving the Lord. Amen. I need yes, to sir. follow him. on. I'm going to be following you right now after this is over with because 
I love some good teaching. I'm more of a teacher, but I love music too, so I love both. <laughs> yeah, and, and people love his music because I go out there sometimes, check him out on Reverb, and he gets a lot of hits on a lot of his music. So he does put out a lot of music. Okay. And congratulations See, to but you. But that's all the old music, Jerry. That I know, was not even that. That was before I even went public. Yeah, I, I know. Wow. Yeah, well, people like their style, man. You know. You got you got a really nice style. It was real smooth. It was real cool. People can understand what you're saying, you know, and they can feel it. So that, that's what it's all about, man. The people got to feel me. That's the way old music used to be, anyway. You know, you feel it. You know, mm, absolutely. So keep doing what you're doing, man. All right, man. All right. Don't well, stop because I like the fact that he took a year off to find re, rediscover, not find himself, but rediscover himself. Oh yeah. And. That shows that he is. When I ask him what he does outside of music, he said, "What? Oh no, that's all I do." <laughs> like, yeah, you eat and breathe music. I love it. <laughs> that's and right. Of course, Dedication. The word that's right. That's that awesome. Didn't... But he got that talent. So you, you got to, you got to, you don't want to leave this planet or lay on your your deathbed thinking to yourself, "Man, did I really give it my all?" And you know, I think that all the time when I go hard in the film room, whether you know we doing talk shows or music video shows or the children's show am i going hard enough you know is, is the lord is he pleased you know because he blesses with so much you know yeah. and sometimes you feel like you're still not doing enough so I, I feel you al you know on that sometimes you gotta step back a little bit and think and listen to him and then go hard you know all right yeah. renew all right, you ready for the song? And this is going to take us. This is going to end the show. So, you have any, anything else you'd like to end with, uh, Al? Before we go, Oh, man, I just continue to you know share the content. Look me up on Spotify, Apple Music, you know, Pandora, iHeartRadio, wherever you get your content from. Is Brother Al everywhere? Amen. Oh, yeah, I heard him. I can't wait. All I'll right. be listening. Okay, Amen. I'm gonna reach out to you on Instagram as well. So. All right. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. And shout out to um, the CMG squad. So, so see a couple of them in the queue and people out there um, sharing the files. So we appreciate you guys, um, you know, loving on this station. Of course, you know, uh, Kimmy and I, we took some time off, but you guys were still able to check out the channel. And, um, you know, it's a lot. It's like over 830 something shows on our channel. So uh, we appreciate you guys. Amen. There we go. Amen. Amen. The balance of service. Yes, that part of the room is over. I had looked at my wounds and realized I'm not as hurt as I thought I was. Something to say about that, though, right? Blessed this war's been Body bandaged up so no damage from steal my candle up <laughs> How blessed this tour's been Not the scandalous, they still slander us, we still handle it <laughs> How blessed this war's been Body bandaged up so no damage from steal my candle up <laughs> How blessed this tour's been Not the scandalous, they still slander us, we still handle it <laughs> Oh God through the scandal and the bullets that they throw I'm still yelling Jesus Christ, the one I'm known My wife a sniper in the spirit, she ain't going And I'm casting down everything they throw Unsuppressed, so I'm going loud, they know And every spirit, not a God, I get the blowing God bless the living, not the dead, they know it this war for life until I'm dead, I'm gonna keep going. How blessed this war's been. Body bandaged up, so no damage from steal my candle up. <laughs> How blessed this tour's been. Nothing scandalous, they still slander us, we still handle it. <laughs> How blessed this war's been. Body bandaged up, so no damage from steal my candle up. <laughs> How blessed this tour's been. Nothing scandalous, they still slander us, we still handle it. Uh, you ran up on my foxhole with resentment. 
Surplus full of blessings, told you God is in it. My MREs don't taste like yours, you must admit it. I got the strength to fight and you can put off the end. Come join the side, you know we win because it's red. Stop all your hate, your God is dead, you know my living. I got the proof, you got this close and you still live huh? The mercy shown come to a stone, a new begin. I bless this war's been. Body bandaged up, so no damn trauma. Still my candle out. I bless this tour's been. Not the scandalous, they still slander us. We still handle it. I bless this war's been. Body bandaged up, so no damn trauma. Still my candle out. I bless this tour's been. Not the scandalous, they still slander us. We still handle it. Can you feel the power? Feel the power A double X. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, positive power 21. Jerry Ross Live Worldwide. Listening to my man Jerry Royce live podcast, the best international radio station in the whole wide world. Peace and love. Hello, my name is C, and I am a recording artist from Rwanda in Africa. You're listening to the best internet radio station in the USA with Jerry Royce live and positive power 21. 